What's up, Seaway Gang? I quit yet another job. I can't catch a break with these jobs. I swear to God, I can't. But as soon as I start to see some whole shit, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I, I'm really tired. I'm really, really tired. I wish I could find a company. That don't have no whole shit going on. And what I mean by whole shit, like, you ever get on a job and then you have to deal with all this bull that you didn't want to deal with? Like, lately, I've been, for those of y'all who don't know, your girl Celeste Way, she's a housekeeper, you know? She's a housekeeper. I like cleaning. I've been doing this for a long, long time. I enjoy doing it. I'm tired of. How can I put it? Um, I'm tired of people. I am tired of people. I get on these jobs, and it's never the job. It's never the job. It's the people. And I try to explain in the interview process that I work best alone. Like, just let me come to work, do my thing, go home. I don't want to deal with your coworker. I don't want your workplace drama. I don't want to deal with your, hey girl, let's be friends. I don't want to deal with the, I don't want to be your friend. Like, I don't want to deal with none of that. Like, okay, you here? I'm here. We got jobs to do. Do them. Let's go home. Like, all the extra, it just, it'd be too much. It'd be too much. And I'm not strong enough for these jobs because I don't want to deal with the people. Like, I love Postman. Like, ooh, that was, like, the best thing they could ever do. Like, a Uber E, Uber, Postman, like, GoPub, like, DoorDash, like, Grubhub type situation. Because at least you just got to go pick up someone's meal. So, you got to deal with people. But not to the extent of babysitting, micromanaging, um, gossiping, um... Just all of that that comes with a workplace environment, like a location versus you being able to travel because that's the difference. That's the difference. I've been taking a lot of trying to step out of my comfort zone to clean it and take a lot of different jobs. Like I enjoy the um, delivering the Amazon packages, like just being in my van, coming to get my van every day and just delivering my packages. Like I enjoy that because I didn't have to deal with the next that all of that stuff I just named the micromanaging, the tattletelling, the gossiping the oh who's sleeping with who like I ain't had to deal with none of that and I think that's the kind of job I'm aiming for y'all like I gotta find a job where I don't have to deal with people like and even if it was like not no messy people like not no nosy people like not no desperate like people because you know it is like a different kind of people like everybody got different personalities and stuff but I'm tired of getting to a job, right? And you got the clingy people where they ask, like, the dumb questions. Like, do you think I should put this bag over here or over there? And they was at the job before you. Like, you should know that already, but you just, like, somebody that just needs somebody to be at work, like a work buddy. And I don't want that. I just want to come to work, clock in, get to work, clock out, go home. Like, I can, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Whatever. But all of that conversation, gossiping, trying to know people's life, them trying to know your life, like, I don't want to deal with none of that. I can't deal with none of that. Like, I don't want to deal with people. And it's sad, y'all, because God tells us we should love people. Love, Like, I don't want to deal with people, though, like, Like, okay, like, I will say I will go back to housekeeping. And I used to say I didn't want to be no room attendant no more, making all of those beds. And sh but only reason I loved it that is because, like, they in that hotel room cleaning that mug by themselves. Ain't nobody talking to them. Ain't nobody distracting them from their, from their work, their visual. Ain't nobody gossiping to them because by this time we all got... All these doggone rooms to clean. Ain't nobody got time to do that gossiping chit-chat. Extra bull crap. 
Like, I miss them kind of jobs because I don't like dealing with people. I know I wasn't always a people person, but good God, like, leaving this warehouse showed me, like, I really don't want to deal with people. <laughs> like, it got to the point, y'all, where I would come to work and, like, try to actually make it to places before I know a person would be there because I didn't want to have to deal with the person who worked at station or was in that office or like that's how bad it is like I really don't want to deal with people and last year I thought at the beginning of the pandemic because that was a really good job too like Nova and, and hospital cleaning was a great great job but at the beginning of the pandemic my Ooh, I couldn't be around people. I couldn't be around people. I didn't know what COVID was, so I definitely didn't want to clean no COVID. And it seemed like that's all I kept getting. COVID room, COVID room. Kimberly got a COVID room. Kimberly got a COVID room. I'm like, oh, this is some bull. So I didn't want to stay and do that. But at least I was doing that by myself. I didn't really have to deal with nobody. Like, I had to pass, pass people in the hospital. But by the time I got to the room, the patient was gone. I could just clean it and go. So I enjoyed that. But Lord knows with not Navon, Atrium, previous hospital experience, I've had some stuff going on, too, with the hospital. So, whew. Lord. Just help me figure it out. Help me figure it out. Like, what can I do where I can deal with as less people as possible? <laughs> like, yeah. Let me, like, I, like I said, I, I shout out to all the ride share, like, jobs and grub hubs, Postmates, DoorDash, Uber Eats, all of that good stuff. Because... You ain't really got to deal with too many people with that. Like, pick it up, drop it off. Kind of like the Amazon delivery. Even though I couldn't drive that big behind van. The packages was gone. I felt like I was going to flip. So, yeah, I'm going to pray about that job because I left yet another job. Thank God, though, we ain't go splurge with our tax money. We get afford bills. But I got to find another job. So, I guess my next video to you guys, which is hopefully going to be tomorrow sometime. Because we're about to take this little raggedy hair out and redo these pop smokes. And hopefully my next video for you guys can be um, job interview. Or finally, I got another job that I think ain't going to be on no whole stuff. Like... Or that I can stay on because I ain't had to experience no whole type stuff. I'm hoping and I'm praying. Um, going to continue to, yeah, drive and make money that way. But I got to figure it out, y'all. The bipolarness in me is getting real, real because I don't want to deal with people. I get real antsy real quick by people. Damn, like go over here and clean up with this person that again. Boy, let me hurry up and get in here and do everything before they come back and deal with them. Like, I don't want to deal with people. So, I'm going to try to pray and work on that. Like, I barely, you want to deal with the people that I live with? My babies, my husband. So, I got to find a job where I can deal with as less people as possible. I'm going to figure it out, though, and I'm going to definitely keep y'all posted, but, yeah, today was not a productive day. It was, I'm not about to deal with no whole stuff. I'm not about to deal with no babysitter. I'm not about to deal with no trash talk or no stupid talk every day. I just rather say, you know what, enough is enough. It's not for me. It wasn't for me. Um, yeah. I want managers to understand this. Managers and employees that don't understand it, though. Because you get those employees, too, at jobs that think just because they aiming for employee of the month, you supposed to aim for that. 
No, I'm aiming to see if I'm going to like it here because I don't even like employees. And right about now, I ain't liking you either. But, um, yeah, I need managers and employees to understand that a probation period, right? That means that 30 days on a job, that 60 to 90 days on a job, that probation period, right? That goes for both parties. I think a lot of times the management think like, hey, you better be on your P's and Q's for 30 or 90 days or we'll get rid of you. But if you wanted to get rid of me initially, you wouldn't hire me, right? So I'm doing a video real quick, though, talking about these jobs. That probation period, though, that go for the employee and for the manager. That is both of y'all period to figure out if that's what y'all want. Like if that job is a good fit for you or you're a good employee for that job. Like, that's that time. Like, it ain't just for managers to be sitting here like, you're in your probation period, 90-day probation period, 30-day pro... No, that probation period is for the employee too because I might think you a shitty company in two days. So if you a shitty company in two days, I ain't even looking at no 30 or 90 days to be with you. I done seen that you were shitty in two days. I might just want to get this full paycheck and just say bye to you because I see what kind of company you is. So, yeah, just so that y'all understand that. And it goes for, like I said, both ways. They can say, hey, you a shitty employee. We knew you wasn't going to stay with our ass. We don't know why we hired your ass. So that go, But that goes both ways. It ain't one-sided to where the manager get to feel like he can hold that probation period over your head because... Y'all got to remember two things. For one, you applied. And for two, they hired you. Like, it was a two-party way. And it's, and that's a two-party way, too. Like, that's that period to say, hey, am I a good fit for this job? Is this job a good fit for me? And the only reason I had to explain that before ending this video is I had the manager, when I quit today, message me like, he said, I'm, I'm trying to quote, quote, quote him correctly. He said, when I interviewed you, you told me if you don't like a job, you quit. He didn't word it like that, y'all. It was misspelling and stuff like that, but we ain't gonna be petty. But, um, yeah, I did tell you that because that's the honest to God truth. Like, when I don't like a job, I will quit. It's a job, right? A job gotta be both good, good fit. But um, then he tried to say, I kind of knew. It ain't no kind of knew. That's like saying, I kind of lied. No, you either lied or you didn't. I kind of knew you was going to quit. You ain't kind of knew. Once I told you how I was feeling about your job, you knew I was going to quit. So, yeah, that's why I had to explain to y'all that that works for both, because I think sometimes people misinterpret what a probation period is. But that's a period for you as an employee to say, hey, I want this company. I like this company. And that's for them as a company to say, hey, I like this person. I want this person. But if either party feels like, hey, it ain't a good fit. Yeah, that goes for both of y'all. That's why it's a probation. And most of the time when you look at someone's resume I know when I was a supervisor I did I looked at somebody's resume and even though they quit a job or whatever whatever I necessarily faulted them for that because don't nobody quit a job if you went to that job to go to work you needed that money but you quit that job because that job wasn't the right fit for you and ain't nothing worth your peace of mind but peace love blessings to all and I will be back with a my next job video Bye, Seaway Gang. Oh, shout out to all 16 of my subscribers. Yep, all 16 of y'all. Y'all are beautiful, blessed people. Thank you so much for tuning in, tuning in. And please hit that notification bell so you can get a notification when I drop another video. Y'all, peace.